At last, Lewood's long-awaited reunion with his father, as well as their painful farewell. After escaping the Credai, they return to the port city of Bad. Elwood remains silent for the duration of their passage. He sits cradling his father's cold hand as if to warm him back to life. Chapter 20 New Resolve. Hey everyone, Shout Joker here, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Fire Emblem. In the last episode, we made it here to... What, what am I talking about? We didn't make it anywhere. After so long of knowing how cruel of a guy Darren is, we finally got to kill him. And we even temporarily stopped Nurgle's plans of bringing back dragons. And we... Ephidel even got killed and sent to the realm of the dragons. However, Elwood's father is also dead. And this time, we're seeking some much needed respite. Ninian, are you feeling better? Yes. That's good. Long time no see, Nils. You've grown, haven't you? Is it really you, Lindis? Seems like it's been so long. No, it's only been a year since I saw you last. So much has happened since we left you and Kayla. Hey, care to talk about things the rest of us can follow? <laughs> Who's he? This is Hector. He's Marquis Ostia's brother. Don't let his attitude fool you. He acts mean, but he's decent enough. Acts mean seems pretty mean to me. <laughs> and you might remember this one. He's... Yep, I remember. He's Emmanuel Ninian. You're Albert's son, aren't you? Red hair, gentle eyes, and even voice. Just like him. Where did you meet my father? At the Dragon's Gate. He set us free after we'd been captured. We escaped in a small boat, but I was thrown out in a storm. When I woke up, I was back on Valor. For a time, I hid in the ruins by myself. And I sensed something really dangerous. When I raced to the Dragon's Gate, I, I saw everything. Nils. Old Ninian from the boat, she lost her memory. Can't believe we brought her right back to her captors. The horrible thing to do. I'm sorry. Lady Lynn, Lady Lynn, you did nothing wrong. Nils fell overboard. I didn't know what to do. I became lost within myself, only I'd been stronger. All of this could have been avoided. I am truly sorry. Ninian's, Ninian's power is greater than mine. But it cost her physical and emotional strength. Nergo, exploit that weakness. Ninian, Nils. Was he after you because you have the power to call dragons? I think it's because we can open the dragon's gate. Just calling them? Elka can do that on his own. Are you serious? Yes, but it requires a tremendous amount of quintessence. Quintessence? That's what Nurgle calls it. Substance of the human spirit, power, energy. The essence of life itself. Nurgle, he stole this quintessence. What happens to those whose quintessence is stolen? They... they die. Neither Ninian nor I have that power. Lynn knows we only have our special power. Anyway, Nurgle needed to gather a large amount of quintessence, so he has sent his henchman Evidel to get close to Marquess Loss. He sought to plant the seeds of war in Darren's power-hungry hearts. To what end? Seems the quintessence in each person varies in strength. Person was strong minded by is hundreds of times more energy than the average person. It sounds like there aren't many people like that though. It took too long for Nurgle to find people with enough strength. Although it would take time, Nurgle said the easiest way to get that much quintessence was by starting a war. So we plan to make up for quality with quantity, is that it? 
black-hearted fiend. Are all men nothing but pawns to him? But I brought Albert to the Dragon's Gate. As they found the ideal source that they had sought, their ghost's plan for war had been stopped. And yet, he was happy. Taking so much argue from the knights traveling with Albert, he was sure he had even bear quintessence from Albert. Nils! Oh, I'm sorry, Lord Elwood. It's... It's alright. I found my father at Dragon's Gate. Those knights were no longer alive. Oh, what? Your father told us... Ah, oh, wrong voice. Your father told us they had a son. Said you were blessed with natural fighting ability. But he also told us you were compassionate and disdained fighting. He... Those says some would be a better ruler than he was. Told us that he would sooner sacrifice than himself, and see his homeland Lycia embroiled in the flames of war. That's... When we'd lost all hope at the Dragon's Gate, Father always spoke to us of happy thoughts. Well, he mainly spoke of his cherished son and his dear wife, but Nina and I, we loved him very much. His stories about his family, they saved us. Oh, fa Father. Hector? We should let him be alone for a while. Sure, come on, Nidian, Nils. As you say. Lord Ellawood. Ninian, I didn't see you there. Sorry about before. I just needed some time to think. Should you be up? You've had a rough time. Coloring's not very good. You should rest. Look at you. All scratches and bruises. Need to be properly taken care of. Why? Hmm? Why was Lord Albert so... Lord Elwood, why were you both so kind to us? It's... this is... this is all my fault. These nightmares. All these terrible things. Ninian, crying ill suits a girl of your beauty. I'm fine. Please don't cry. Sorry. So sorry. There's something you must learn. Er, here. You're not responsible for what happened to my father. Suffered as much as he did. Please don't punish yourself further. Or Delawood, I... I... Ah! Huh? What is it? Oh. Ninian. Enemies. Enemies draw near. So what do we do now? I wonder what happened to Nurgle. Lord Elbert gave him a grievous wound that when he stabbed him. His wounds will not kill him. That's what Lord Elbert said too. Do you know what he meant? Nurgle uses quintessence on himself as well. His wounds heal quickly. His body does not age. So he isn't human? Nothing else, he's... Ah! What is it? Call everyone. Enemies approach. Bah. Elwood deserves a little more time to rest. Well then, we'll handle this ourselves, shall we? Here you all are. Ah. Elwood. Listen, get ready for the battle. I want to get this over with quickly to protect villagers. Meet the enemy commander and drive them out of here. Hey, little guy, go hide in the village. No way, I can help you out. Nils, you really are a big help, but you shouldn't be with shouldn't you be with Nini now? Ah, uh, alright. Let's go. For the preparations. Now, time for the augury. This place it makes my bones ache. Need to care for your elders, not take them to these horrible places. What's that? Speak up. Oh yes, the augury. You will pay the 60 gold. This battle will be fought in darkness, so thieves are good. Torches or light bringing staves are also good. Bow wielders, archers or snipers should come along. Detoxin, the sleep sack. These are heartening items. I can tell you nothing more. But perhaps you will want to hear it again, yes? 
<laughs> ah, is that so? I'll be seeing you soon enough, I'm sure. Alright, without further ado, let's get this bell underway. It's actually my second time trying to record this video. Ninian, stop! Where are you going? I... I'm going to help. Oh no you're not! You're still too weak. But I merely wish to help Lord Ellawood. Even if just a little. I... I stole his father's life from him. I know this... This will never make up for it. Nils, please. I understand. Give me your hands. Nils? I'll give you some of my power. I'll just get in the way if you go out like this. Nils, I'm sorry. Phew! That should do it. Help them, for me too. Thank you. Lord Elwood. Ninian, you shouldn't be here. Please, allow me to help. Help? There's no intention of making you fight. No mere dancer. My dances, they will help you. This is... I'm wrapped in some sort of... Energy! I used Nina's grace and dance for you, Lord Ellawood. Only lasts a short while, but while it does, you are protected. Please, allow me to remain at your side. Ninian, of course, they'll make you feel better. Let's rejoin the battle. Don't leave my side. Okay. Mark, you tell me what you want me to do. I cannot fight. I can aid with my dance. I ask for your understanding and assistance. Sorry about the pause there, I just wanted to get a drink. Anyway, let me go over the preparations I made for this chapter. Start off with inventories. I decided to give Guy the Armor Slayer since I figured he's the sword wielder that would benefit the most from it. Um, Matthew now has his normal equipment since there aren't any chests in this chapter. I decided to give Priscilla the Guiding Ring, well, a Guiding Ring, for reasons you will see later. later. Elwood, I said I gave him a blue gem. And Lucius, I gave our two red gems to him. Now, I'd also like to mention the missing elephants in the room. Oswin and Sane. They're not with us since Zane is already at level 18. And, uh, Zane and Oswin will obviously already promoted. Now, going over Ninian as a unit. Hmm. I'll just go with this. Ninian. As a unit, pretty good, all right. P pretty good, all right. That—that's not even a word. He's pretty much just an extension of Nils. So all my praise to Nils is shared with Ninian. As I already mentioned, this is my second time trying to record this chapter. Maybe wondering who died. The proper answer to that is no one. Nor it was because a brigand destroyed one of the villages. Normally I said I would not um, reset because a village got destroyed. And that's true. I would normally not reset if a village got destroyed. But that one was pretty much vital to this playthrough. So I had to make an exception this time around. Alright, Guy is going to get healed by Priscilla. Matthew, I still want to keep you near the black... The black? No! No, that's probably one of the worst slips of the tongue I've ever had. The back lines. Elwood, uh, have you sell the blue gem? Iron Iron Sword. Javelin. Axes. And 
for the next chapter, I think having a bow could be pretty good. Lucius, on the other hand, I want you to go to the vendor. Sell your two red gems. My two stabs. Um, fire tome, lightning tome, the flux tome. Connus, I think I'm gonna send you towards that village. Then you can go there. Actually, Oh yeah, I should go over Nay and Stern Equipment since it's pretty good. Nice is Grace, Grace is an ally's defense for a turn. You have the option to do that when you dance or just normally dance to make the move again. And Elixir. That's a full heal. I think, actually, uh, one thing I would like to say, I'm pretty sure uh, Nina's Grace uh, counts, increases your defense and resistance. Oh, I'm not entirely sure. Why well, is a noise? It's the middle of the night. What? A fight? Are you going to do something? Really? Then here, take this. It should aid you. It's restore staff. It'll wake you from sleep and cure poison. Basically, it'll kill what's wrong and bring you back to normal. I'm tired. Why can't you people fight at a decent hour? Now to restore staff. Can cure any status ailments. Alright. Yep, this monk's gonna go after Lucius. Um, I would like to talk about my general thoughts on this chapter real quick. From a tor- Tor- No. A story perspective. This is among probably one of my favorite chapters in the game. This is when we fully get to flesh out why Elwood is my favorite character across the Fire Emblem series. It has a large part to do with this story. This is the first of a couple of times when a lot of the twists and turns in the story directly have to do with Ella Wood. Very personal, and I feel like this is how most good Fire Emblem stories should go. Make the stakes of the story very personal to the main character. This way, they have more of a reason to be fighting than... Um, wh whatever other reason this, this, uh, this story would present. It's a very good way of presenting a good story in my eyes, and I really like how it's done here. Massive props. Now Raven should be full. Okay, he needs to be mended. A stat. I don't know why I said a stat, but whatever, man. When just game with your Monikati. And here is the episode where I feel a lot of people are going to rip into me. I have a plan for training up some of my lower level units. It's pretty much abusing the arena mechanic. Normally, I don't like doing this. I like I don't typically grind in RPGs. This is going to be an exception, however, since Matthew's still at level 8, Guy is level 9, and a lot of our units are still just barely around the level 10 mark, with a couple of exceptions. Yeah, the team's pretty weak, all things considered. For that reason, I feel using the arena is going to be justified. Ah, those emerald eyes, that lustrous blue hair. She was so beautiful, beautiful beyond words. If only I could see her again. A lovely day for Rey, searching for her lord. I wonder why she's a knight. A famed knight in me, that's a dream of a dream. Why, you, I was just thinking out loud. You didn't hear anything, did you? Wah! <laughs> you mustn't tell anyone! Promise me you mustn't! 
Clay, I'm gonna put you around here. Oh, that's what I was afraid of! Okay, thank you, guy. Thank you so much. Now we can get down to business. And defeat... The ha- Yes, that's why I wanted Fiora there. Okay. Thank you, Fiora. Thank you, guy, for docking that. Yes, these are Wyvern Riders. They're pretty much Pegasus Knights. But they have a higher resistance- No, they have a lower resistance stat. Oh, you're kidding me, heck. What is your speed stat? Oh, it's only eight. I- oh. Oh no, this isn't very good. I'm like, okay. Well, Hector, you can start by weakening him, I guess. And Raven, you should be able to finish him off. Just curious as to what Matthew could do. Yeah, Matthew, no. And Okay. Yep, gonna heal you after this. Oh, and just realize that you are now poisoned, so I think that would be a good time to get the uh, restore staff off of Hector as well. But wait, never mind. Hector's too far up, so I guess I'll just have to heal you in the meantime. And there we go. And guy, this could actually be a pretty good chance to try out your new Lance Reaver. Yes, all right. Looking good, guy. I'm gonna put Lynn up a little bit. Yeah, can... let's gonna move people up a little bit. Actually, I'm trying. If you guys are wondering specifically why I'm having. Uh, Elwood and Indian uh, stand next to each other so furiously. <laughs> um, the obvious answer is support. Elwood and Indian have a support conversation in the chain, and I really like it, so I want to show it off. Anyway, let's have Connus visit this village. Get really bad on under attack. Only Borgus were here. Say, I've got something here for you. Can you can use it by some time. Set so this light room, it'll block the enemy's advance. Only thing is, it'll stop allies too, so watch your step. Light room, we've already got one of those, and we could have had one if one of the Caitlyn soldiers uh, died in uh, chapter 16. And just get a pointless critical in. Not that I should expect anything less of you. Oh, this guy's gonna use a... Okay, that is not very good. I need to send someone else over there with Guy, because I'm sending him over there for a specific reinforcement that just spawned in. Okay, I think I'll send Lin in simply because he's the closest. I believe a brigand just spawned in and destroys that village. That village is very important. You want it if you're using a flying unit on your team. Please tell me he'll target Guy. Please. And I have... Wait, never mind. I want... Raven, you there. Trade the restore staff for the heal that has two uses left. Priscilla, restore Raven. So he's no longer poisoned. I'm not here, you can move up. Ellawood. Normally, I'd prioritize, um, having 
Elwood and Ninian stand next to each other at all times. But I really want Hector to act as a wall right now, so I'm gonna have him uh, just stand there instead. Alright, this is, this is house. Are you a mercenary? Look well trained. Tactician must be especially rigorous. That's all you have to say, but whatever. And Connus, you can try joining up the main group again. Oh yeah, Fiora. Uh, let's check the, uh... Yeah, you should be fine. Alright. Let's see. Oh, didn't think about that. Alright, this guy's gonna throw a hand axe at guy. Probably should have switched the... The iron sword into his weapon slot. Ooh, guy doesn't have a Vorini on him. Guy does have a Vorini on him. Crap. Now does Priscilla. Does anyone have a? Um. Okay, I think. Yes. Okay, yes. Priscilla, use the elixir there, and you can be guy, th there for guy. Uh, double with the killing egg. We really like that critical on the first turn, but bangers can't be choosers. I said... Not, not that specific phrase, antitoxin, that's just a way to, uh, restore. Uh, we'll deal with the monk, since they're more of a threat to guy. There we go, Lin, can take care of them. I am going to be, alright, now I'm going to be take, making a temporary stronghold around the arena since I want to get my units trained up there. I'm gonna rescue Ninian with Fiora just in case. All right, another fighter and another monk. All right, two monks. Yes, guy can dodge this guy normally. Yes, fine. Wasn't all the down there? Wait, no, they they were around there. I I would have been fine, but whatever at this point. I guess I can drop any in there. First, let's mend the guy, Priscilla, because he's running a little low. And then let's see what guy can do to this brigand. Think that's enough? Should have double checked. Iron sword. I think I'm just gonna let the monks come to me at this point. Because I don't want to stand too close. So yeah, just gonna let them come to me. All while moving up some units. Alright, this guy's going after Matthew. I don't understand why, but he is. Alright, yeah. I should be able to kill you. Oh, Wyvern Rider. Thank God I have a Lance Beaver on Guy and not Raven or someone. Because... Otherwise, that could be disastrous. I have to get Hector down there. Okay, thank you, guy. I don't think you're gonna die, but... I'd like you to be more safe. Don't wait until these reinforcements just aren't as big a deal. And then... I think I'll do my, um... Arena training. Yeah, but guy needs some more healing, definitely. So, yeah. There we go. I'll likely restore him next turn. 
Lance Reaver, and there we go. I sure you didn't have to use it so much here, but... Beggars can't be choosers. Why do I keep saying that? It's pretty much the new sheer fact. Alright. Glenn can deal with this monk. Gonna put Elwood back and have him work on some supports. Normally, I would end the video around here, but... Honestly... Um... I want to at least start my arena training. I want to get to a point where I start my arena training and then do that off screen possibly. Yeah, I think how I'll do it is I'll do the arena actual training bit off screen. And then you guys can. Oh! Raven and Lucius got their first support. Still under the weather. Are you, Lucius? No, I'm better now. Sorry to be such a burden. Something you want to say to me, then? Ah, how did you know? Just look at your face. It's about the revenge on Ostia, isn't it? Y yes Is there no way your heart can be changed? If I wanted to change how I felt, I wouldn't be here. Marquess of Cornwall and his wife. They were very important to me. I feel such sadness when I think they are gone yet still. Selling this grudge will not bring them back. Should we bury Hector to spite Ostia? That would just give race to more hate. If you understand, then why do you proceed? Tell me why. Two summoners, two summers have passed since the house of court fell. You took to, you told me to forget that crime was committed. Have the teachings of the benevolent gods given you strength to love thine enemy? No, no, that's not it, Lord Raymond. I, I have no such strength. And I think we were never more than a temporary family to you. Is that it? Lord Raymond, listen to me, you're wrong. It's just that I, you have objections to my actions. You need not come. Go where you will. Is that what you want? Lord Raymond. So yeah. Uh, something I should probably mention now. Is. Oh he's gone to Raven. Something that I should mention now. Is that. Um. You can only do one. A support between two characters per chapter. So, oh, come on! I spent all this time setting up so Ninian wasn't gonna be a likely target. What you do, you go and target Ninian. Oh my god. Just, just take him out, Lucius. Ah uh, yeah, so I couldn't have- I can still have Raven and Lucius build points for support with each other, but they won't actually get another conversation until at least one more chapter. Alright, there we go. Brazil is level 8. So yeah, I'll just show you the level ups off screen, and since I am also planning to uh, build some support, in the time that I am uh, doing the uh, off-screen training, I will. I may just record the support conversations I get. Oh, wait. Rescue Matthew, Lucius. Not not Lucius. Connus, deal with this monk. Yeah, until I feel perfectly set up for me uh, doing the arena, I will. Just be doing that whenever I get support when uh, recording, when doing my off-screen training, then I will show it since I want to show off all the supports I can. 
Once again, I'm gonna stay back here a bit since I don't actually want to engage the the enemy because the boss for this chapter can move. I forgot about you. Was kind of hoping you had a lance. Okay. Would really like if you guys would stop coming. This way I can actually end off the episode. Alright, there we go. And I still have to make a couple of preparations, like properly healing people up and stuff, but yeah. Besides that, the arena stuff I do, at least for this chapter, is going to be entirely off-screen training. There we go. Iron Sword, just realized it's killing you, killing us. One use left. Alright, guy, you are now level 10, I believe? Wait, no, you're level 11. What am I talking about? Um, besides that... Who do I want? Okay. It'll be fine. Gonna wait there for supports. And then I'm gonna end off here. Hopefully, okay. Enemies seem to not be coming anymore, so I think. I'll do something like this. I'm more so getting some areas ready for support building. Also, gonna have Raven drop off Matthew. But at this point, I feel like I'm ready to just, um, just get some level grinding. This is normally not something I like to do in my LPs. I normally stick to, if I'm gonna level grind, or even, not even level grind, just train my team at all, I want to be on screen. But besides that, I think we're ready to end things off here. No, I didn't mean to heal Fior. Well, I guess since I misclicked, we're gonna get a couple more seconds of this video. Unless Hector and Elwood are willing to just want to run when you have a support conversation. Okay, no. You! Ah! I'm ready to end off the episode making my final preparations for my off-screen training, and you decide to come out of nowhere! Why? What? What's the point? Just let me make my off-screen preparations for off-screen training, please! <laughs> and more reinforcements! Screw you! Oh my god! Just stop! Please! Oh my god. I guess. I guess we're just gonna be here for another turn. You and me shouldn't be. Oh my god, just, 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 just stop. Stop existing. Iconis Flux, I guess. I swear to god, if someone dies here and I have to restart, I'm going to cry. Hector Iron Axe. Parts. 
sports. Store. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the 40 minute video that I wasn't planning to do at all. ARE YOU KIDDING ME?! DUDE! I'm making preparations for screen training! Can you piss off?! Please, just piss off. Nothing would bring me more joy. Yes, let me make preparations. Oh my god. Okay, no support there. No support. I'm gonna put Guy here. Priscilla there. I'm gonna heal him up a little bit. Ah! There, are you happy now? Okay, there we go. This is what I'm going to do for my grinding session. Just realized Raven needs more health, but I'll just do that off screen. And so is Matthew, once again, I'll just do it off screen. So next time on Let's Play Fire Emblem, the team will be a lot more powerful and we will be ending off this chapter. This has been Shadow Joker. Take care. And I'll see you guys next time.